Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and uh, welcome back to Sim Casino where uh, my hotel is flipping majestic. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely flipping majestic. You've got the No Hoper rooms down here, uh, which are occupied at the moment. Um, and I'll, I'll teach you a, a cheeky, uh, cheeky cheat that I found as well, uh, which is quite, uh, well, it's not even a cheat, to be honest. Uh, it, it just works. I, I wonder... Ooh, there's an experiment. Anyway, we've got uh, we've got a few corpses kicking around on the uh, on the beds there. You see, that's uh, that's all nice. Over here in the uh, in the Bumson suite, that's currently occupied. Uh, the Zoltan suite, which is for the high rollers, because uh, it's got a wet bar in there. Uh, it currently has no bed sheets. That's okay. Oh no, we're fitting them now, aren't we? No. What were you doing? There's no bed sheets in there, don't. Good dude. Go get some sheets. Put them on the bed. Crying out loud. Uh, can't leave that empty. Uh, and then you've got the Mister on Suite as well, which also has no sheets right now. The uh, the housekeeping service clearly at work as we speak. Uh, then you've got more bedrooms going on down here. These are actually quite pricey. These ones, despite the fact they're all quite compact. Double beds are a scarcity, frankly. Um, but uh, it doesn't seem to put the punters off. We make we make a fair shake of cash at the old hotel. I've got seven hundred and thirty grand in the bank. It's all lovely. Uh, for those who can't uh, who can't escape the uh, the urge to spend on the gamblings, uh, we've got a machine going on here. There's thirteen hundred quid sat in that one. That's nice. Uh, and then I've got another one down the end there uh, with fourteen hundred quid in it. Uh, they've got next to no chance of winning, of course. Um, but who cares? Uh, you, you know, <laughs> that's, that's their problem, not mine. Uh, bought a couple of ATMs up here. I thought you know that might bring things along. And then the players' club desk as well uh, but as you can possibly notice from the outside there's a lot of windows uh going on out here and the reason for that is that by adding a window you increase the amount people are prepared to pay so i was just wondering whether sticking a window on here is uh <laughs> flipping is <laughs> ah, good all right let's bunk some windows on there i can up the occupancy charge uh right yeah yeah you have a window as well hey i have a couple uh, I'll tell you what, I'll go uh, have a window into your bathroom. That'll cheer you up. Yeah, I see. You can, you can see what's going on. As I'm sure you'll agree, uh, the uh, uh, the decor in each of these rooms is flipping magnificent. Um, and that's you, you wouldn't be wrong. Right, so uh, so as you can see, what we're, what we're rating on is price satisfaction. 110 is the highest that will go, uh, but it means that I can now bump the price up. <laughs> Even though they're just looking out into a corridor. Fine. Good. Oh, I'm into it. No, no, no. You have, you have a good time. Uh, I'm being generous and keeping the price satisfaction over 100%. Uh, but I go, you know, what's the uh, what's the most it will handle? So that's 170 quid a night will get you that. Uh, to be fair, it's got a double bed. So, I mean, you shouldn't really be complaining too much. There you go. This, this one's slightly slightly less desirable because it's, it's proper compact, that one. Oh, good. Well, okay. That was a that was a lucky surprise that I wasn't anticipating. Um, I don't know if having a window into the bathroom makes a difference. Let's find a test candidate. It's uh, it's worth a go, isn't it? It's got to be. Uh, right here we go. This this one's currently got no uh, no windows at all. All right. Okay. Ninety quid a night. All right. Let's uh, let's see if we can bung a window on that one into the bathroom. I don't know if it'll fit. To be honest, I've I've kind of crammed everything in. There you go. One window into the bathroom. What do you know? Hey, one window into the bathroom is extra worth an extra 40 quid a night. Brilliant. Okay, right. Today, we're going to build some kind of uh, theatre restaurant bingo parlour. I have no idea. I'll figure it out when we get there, I imagine. So, as you can plainly see, it's, uh, it's, it's popular up here. These aren't even people that are stuck. They're just queuing. He's checking out a wall. I'll tell you what. Look, I'll give you something to look at. Hang on. If you uh, if you stay put for a moment, there you go. Art. It's great. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, we're we're done up here for now. That's all taking care of itself. The main casino is uh, is, uh, is lively to say the least. But no one's using any of these machines. I had a look at them, and the uh, the uh, the star prize was twenty five quid, and it was a hundred quid a go. Which made me think, uh, maybe that's the reason they're not doing it. So I've upped it to 100 grand. Jackpot on these ones. Oh, baby. Uh, the, 
the only problem with them that I can see at the moment is that no one can actually get to it. It looks like they can, but they need an extra an extra walking zone behind there. So uh, so we're going to extend out this way just to make that work, and then uh, then we'll get on and build some. Uh, I don't know. We'll build the next bit. Foundation, please. F foundation. Am I on the right? I am on the right level. Okay, let's uh, let's roll. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Yeah, that's good. Right. Okay, so I mean, I've got to think about. Oh well, now what's the uh, what's the optimum route to take here in order to make this uh, this all viable? Don't fill that in, will you? There you go. Uh, and uh, and I think we'll we'll rock it down. See which way do I want to route people through the main slot floor there? I mean, obviously, if I had five times the amount of floor space, I'd put five times the amount of slots and just be flipping raking it in. Um, and it's tempting to do so, but I'm not going to. I think we'll go down here because there's a little bit more space, and uh, let's just go. Let's go mad. How mad? Oh, I can I can afford to spend an extra thirty-five grand. There you go. That'll do it. Yeah, ah, could have possibly done that to start with, but I didn't, uh, so I've done it now instead. Now, we want the uh, wall removal tool, please. All right, thank you. And uh, and then we'll get this uh, get this business operational. There you go, that's opened up the high stakes zone fully now. That should be quite exciting to people. Um, might not be, you never know. Uh, it's, it's, it's all gonna work out. Uh, this is so that I can extend the lose I might extend them around the corner, you see, that that's all good. Uh, the other thing is that everything I do is so profitable that I can leave it rocking on high speed and offset all of my uh, uh, all of my costs as we go. I'm just waiting to see if anybody decides to have a punt on the big bucks here. Uh, I mean, I'm not that bothered if they're not, but it would be nice if they were. No? Anyone at all? Anyone at all? Anyone? At all. Anyone at all. Anyone can't. I need to move on. This narrative is not going to paint itself. I need to be. Uh, I need to be getting a getting a stroll on here. Getting a you know just getting a you know making it happen. No, we'll come back later and see if anybody has decided to go for the. Uh, I really don't have a clue. Uh, stakes there. Uh, right now, what do we got? Uh, we can go bigger marketing. Nah, I'm not bothered. Uh, we'll we'll get the table rule editing on the go. Uh, instant delivery trucks, sure. Oh, theatre. Oh, I'm trying to build one of those. Ah, can I can I cancel these? No. All right. Well, the theatre's going to take a little while, but we'll we'll work on something else in the meantime. Entertainment attractions. Uh, the bingo hall. I love it. Yeah. What else? Private bathrooms. No, 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 no. What's that? A makeup booth. Oh, after I've got theatre. So right now we can do the bingo hall. Okay, right, well we'll crack on with that while we're researching uh, other stuff. Uh, I could possibly put in an eatery of some description. I could. Am I going to? I might. Uh, and I also want to save a little bit of space down here for some regular kind of gaming table type behavior. Uh, if we're going to make this uh, a resort slash uh, environment type deal, then I should do that. Uh, let's put these people in the proper comfy chairs. Oh yeah, oh, that's great. Yeah, it's that. Oh, yeah, squeeze them right in the back corner. Uh, that'll be nice. And uh, your bingo caller is obviously going to be Bingo Hazmat. Um, just you know, you knew that was coming, but uh, I've told you anyway. Uh, now, hold on. Before I do that, the bingo podium, the bingo cards counter, bingo podium. Bingo pod. Right, that wants to be the other way around, really, doesn't it? Yeah, there we go. So we'll slap that in there. Yep. More bingo seating. I'm loving this. Yeah, no, this is this is what this is what's gonna bring them in, you know. Uh I should probably put it like that, but I don't know if that's gonna have an access problem or not. Uh we'll we'll find out, I'm sure. Yeah, you see, look, it looks like it's got access problems. Yeah. All right, okay, well, look, we still need a card counter, and that can be over here. I thought card counting was illegal. Be quiet. Do you think that's enough bingo? I think that's enough bingo. Um, right, let's call this a bingo hall, like that. I might even decorate it. You never know. What are we doing here? You're waiting for a payout person. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all waiting for staff and have you, what have you. Um, good. Okay, demolish the wall, and uh, and then it should uh, it should open up, and we'll be uh, we'll be in business. Come on, you've used the the remove wall tool often enough. There we go. Yes. Right then. Oh, they can't get enough. Nice, no, my staff. All right, okay. All right. Well, look, it's all, it's all good. We're not we've got the staff on. Um. Yeah. No. Let's let's get them all loaded up and see if we can get some punters in. Uh, and, uh, I'm itching to see eyes down for an empty house. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah. 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 Yeah, maybe a bit of maybe a bit of foliage will go uh, will go splendidly here. That's all outside. We could put a, a beach torch in. Oh, I, I think they'll uh, I think they'll dig that the most. Beach torches for the proper bingo atmosphere. Woohoo! Yeah, have some. Get in. Do that, and then because you don't want to pay too much attention to it, uh, what else do we need here? We need a big flipping telly. There you go. We'll have a couple of big flipping tellies going on everywhere. Never a dull moment, friends. No, you may not be bored. There we go. We've got almost two players. Get in. Uh, right, can I set any... Uh... No, no, you can't set any. Uh... Yeah, you know what you haven't done? You haven't given them all luxury chairs. Oh, that's... Whatever. Do we, are we bothered? No, not especially. Uh, leave it plain and, uh, and keep them guessing. Plenty of telly and a lot of bingo. Oh yeah, he's, he's working out whether he's won anything. Do you know what it needs? It needs a bingo screen behind here where it's, where it's you know, pretending to call out the numbers and a bubble, a, a, a ball machine that's popping them up. Oh, you know what? It's proven to be quite popular. I have no idea how much it makes. Uh, but it will recoup over time. And obviously, keeping them in the facility, it's all good. Uh, right, well, uh, let's say that's done, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, shall we? Yeah, let's say that's done. That's done. Oh, look at Jar. Look at them all come in. They're going, yeah, yeah, give me a card. I, c I can't get enough of the bingo. I want the bingo. Give me the bingo. More bingo for me. Right, anyone playing high stakes? No, no, they think 100 quid a spin is possibly a little steep. Nah, it's not. Give it a go. Go on. Don't make me turn this into a cheapy bobs, because uh, I don't want to. I want to make this for idiots with more money than sense, which they won't have for long. Uh, right, okay. Well, let's have a look at eateries, because we're still waiting for the theatre to be developed. Oh, gracious. Uh, right, dining. Yeah, beer dispenser. Nice. A dessert buffet. Dining table. All right. Okay. Yeah, let's make it happen. Right, stick it over here, right next to the bingo, so that your your beautiful meal can be suitably ruined uh, by the uh, the yelling of all the twos, seventeen, uh, one fat lady, ninety six, all of that, all of that business. Uh, yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, these dice is this is total dining. The experience. Yeah, give it. Oh, make it happen. Oh, bringing, bringing dreams to life. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how many people are going to want to use this. I'm going to uh, I'm going to work on the assumption of some. Right. You're going to need some staff for this, Gov. Yeah. Well, I've I've rather thrown off the shackles of uh, of staffing. I'm now allowed to have as many staff as I feel like, uh, which is grand. And uh, yeah, it's it's all good. I don't, basically, the, the amount of money I'm making is such that I can just go absolutely do lally on hiring. Uh, right. That'll do. Yeah, that seats a few. Uh, right, we want a steak buffet. Oh, I might like, might have left that a little bit crowded. Oh, okay, well, let's do it around here. Really? Yeah, it's, it's not like you're paying massive amounts of care and attention to how you're placing things now, is it? Uh, yeah, let's have some more of that. Drinks dispenser? Yeah, I reckon. What does that need to be? That needs to be on a wall. Okay, all right, we'll put it on that one. Yeah, have a, have a couple. All right, I feel good about uh, drinks dispensers. Uh, and then, oh yeah, dessert buffet. Yeah, we'll get some of that in there as well. Beer dispenser, like it. Yeah, get the beers in there, uh, team. 
That'll be good. Oh, what we got go? Oh, I need a kitchen. Oh, okay. All right, where am I going to put that? I could put it next to the toilet. All right, that works. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's for total hygiene. Because uh, obviously the kitchen, the, the the toilet actually gets visited by my cleaning staff. So uh, so that's all grand. Staff door on there. No, you might wonder. You're not going to finish that room. I forgot. Yeah, I will do in a minute. I want to see how much space it needs first. Uh, what's the rules? Minimum four by four. Must contain uh, kitchen prep. A hot plate, a fridge, a sink, and a cooker. Do you see? This is why we're uh, why I was uh, why I was waiting, right? You want one of these? Yeah, I want one of those. Okay, uh, I need some of this. Yep, you got it. Uh, what else? Have you already built one of those? Yeah, I have. I've built two of them now. Uh, and one of those. Perfect. Let's have two of those. Oh yeah, making it real. Uh, kitchen prep, prep away. Yeah, and uh, a sink. Well, that means I have got everything and the kitchen sink. You're welcome. I know you were thinking it yourself and you were going, oh, I've got, I'm going to make a comment about having the kitchen sink. And I'm going to go, nope, beating you to it. No, when there's a joke that stupid, I'm going to make it. Uh, right, sling that in there. Loving it. What do you want? You want it to be in a kitchen zone? Can do. There you are. Kitchen. Happy? Stop your flashing. What do you need? A fridge. Oh, okay. Uh, there. Kitchen. Good. Capacity zero of 22. I, I, is that, is that a good thing? Or, or what? I don't know, we'll find out, won't we? Must be in a buffet zone. Yeah, that'll happen in a moment. Now, the only thing for a buffet zone that we need is the checkpoint, cash out. The pay me money bit. Cash register. Okay, now we could put this somewhere somewhere keen. Uh, we could stick it there and then there. We'll have two of them. I'm liking it. Okay, activate buffet zone. All right, I might need to make that just a little bit bigger, but we'll, uh, we'll worry about that presently. The buffet zone buffing right up against the, uh, the bingo zone. No, go the other way, just to be on the safe side. There you go. Just extend that out once more. Sweet. Okay, we're on. Alan, do I need to hire some... Hold on, what do you need? Failed to assign a kitchen to fulfill orders. All right, kitchen. Oh, assign to... There. Done. All right. All right, that was, that was intuitive. All right, proof. We've got retail people going on there. Are, are you a chef? I, hold still a sec. Yeah, you are. I imagine you're probably a little bit pushed for time at the moment. But look, we've got a we've got a buffet now. Now I freely admit that the the throughput of uh, of, of foot traffic um, is maybe a little bit convoluted uh, with this with this zoning that I've got going on, and I'm basically just plonking in a zone and seeing what happens. Um, this is first time out. You see, we uh, we plonk it in and see what happens first time out. There we go. We got diners. Oh yeah. Can I can I scalp them for pricing? God, let me. Well, look, we're in early access. What I want to, I want to be able to decide the menu. Uh, I want to be able to, I want to be able to decide everything. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you make that happen, that'd be great. I like the way that they're alternating between my two cash desks. That's good too. Yeah. All right. That was easy. Yeah. We're, we're, I mean, we haven't got a massive number of diners at the moment, but I'm about to bring in some serious numbers of people. I mean, it is two thirty in the morning on a Tuesday. Yeah, I might possibly want to consider having some more cleaning staff, uh, but I, I, I'll wait until it needs doing. If these are sitting, these are sitting idle here, although the numbers have gone up a little bit. Uh, we ought to check this one. Six and a half grand is what it's got in its uh, in its slot holders at the moment. All right, okay. Yeah, those have all recently been emptied. That's what I like to see. My staff are efficient. Yeah, okay. Bad Choices Bar is doing quite nicely. It's not making a huge amount. Let's have a quick look and see how much we've made. Then I'll zip forward until the theatre's ready to go and we'll uh, we'll get that done too. Uh, today is probably not the best day to uh, to judge. How did we do yesterday? We brought in 319 grand. That's a good level of income. Um, 
and uh, we made 65,000 in profit. But I spent 32,000 on research, 22,000 on construction, so that's another 50. Uh, taxes, oh, that's just not, no, we can't do anything about that. Staffing's now up to 10k a day. I like it. I can, I can run to that. We only brought in 13 grand in accommodation. It was a Monday. Give them a chance. Uh, gambling. What's that? That's my sports gambling, presumably. That's laughable. That should be, that should be way higher than it actually is. Uh, I make so much money on slot machines, I should just run slot machines if I wanted to make cash. But hey, whatever. Uh, let's have a look at the valuation of the casino. 1.4 million it's worth. I said Coco. Uh, right, okay, let's uh, let's go to the... Uh, no, I want marketing. Marketing, marketing, marketing. Casino ops? No. Uh, staff manage? It's in here somewhere. All right, well, we'll, we'll just rattle through. Here we go. Uh, local radio. Let's do it. Yep. Yes, please. Uh, who do, who do we want to appeal to? Oh, ah. Now, somewhere it explains who these different people are. Oh, I can't remember. Let's do some hotel advertising for, uh, oh, for, uh, put it in for, for seven days. And uh, we'll go excellent for that. 32,000. Done. Okay. Because obviously if they come back, then that's all great. Uh, we'll go for uh, entertainees. Wait until you've got your theatre up. I like your thinking. Yeah. Because I'm hoping that by having people come and stay in the hotel, they'll also want to partake in uh, a little bit of food and maybe a bit of bingo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I reckon they might. Who doesn't like a bit of bingo after a, a night in a hotel or during your night in a hotel? All right. Now, while I've been faffing with that, all of this has been running. Are we still at six and a half? We're still at six and a half. Right, change the odds. Uh, make it uh, 25 quid a go instead of 100. Uh, jackpot is still maximum. House advantage is still ramped up. I don't think that's calculating correctly, you know. Because if I make it 100 quid play cost, right? Do that. Uh, oh, okay. The double bet chances automatically increases. Okay, all right, we'll make it 25 quid a throw. Yeah. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll tweak it so that maybe the house advantage isn't quite as egregious as I'd had it set previously. And we've still got 100 grand in there. Apply to all in a row. There you go. All right. Right, you've still got six and a half? Yeah. Someone played while I was tinkering. Oh, no, look, there you go. That's all they wanted. They just wanted the, uh, the stake to be a little bit lower, and now they can't get enough of it. Fine by me. No, that's fine. I'll, I'll do richer stakes when it comes down to uh, my gaming tables. You know what? What's that? We'll do that next time. I'm going to do one more episode. Yeah, I was planning to wrap it up today, but I think there's enough to do uh, that we can run to another one. Let's run to another one. I think people will be happy with that. Well, who cares what you think? Everyone cares what I think. Be quiet. I've been Colonel Failure, everybody. Uh, why not come for a stay here at uh, the Den of Iniquity? The uh, the Repentance Cafe. Uh, get your bingo on there. I've no idea if that makes any money, you know. Uh, it's 12 quid to play. Well, hold on. Some of these tables will tell me. That's got nothing. Yeah, that's got nothing. It's obviously just been cleaned out by my security personages. All right, okay. How are you, how are you doing? Your arm just a podium. You've got 108 quid in there. I'll be honest with you. Uh, that's it's maybe not the most brilliant thing in the world. How are we doing for food? Uh, food stocks are all looking pretty positive here. Yep. Yep. Plenty of beer to go round. Help yourself to a free fizzy drink. Smashing. I say it certainly ramped up the use of the bathroom. Yeah. Well, this is this is all great. Yeah, that is, it's hard to say how I could be doing any better, to be honest. We're, we're pushing 800,000, and uh, how's the uh, hotel occupancy? Ah, oh, look at it all. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Turn the, turn the overlay off. Hold on, settings. Turn that. This should be... Stick it up here as a little button. Devs, if you're paying attention, just up there. Turn the zone overlays off on as a little button up there. That'd be great. Thank you. Um... 
yeah, you've got the real estate. Making it, I can turn the walls off. Eh, I don't mind the walls being on, but I want to turn the uh, overlays off. There you go. I'm in Colonel Failure, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back soon with more of a very similar nature uh, where we're going to do gambling and theatre. Ooh. Yeah. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on it. I'll be back soon. Cheerio. The hotel's working. The bingo hall is working. The restaurant is working. Next time around, I'm going to make a theatre. And I'm also going to put out all of those lovely gambling tables that uh, people would like to gamble on. Uh, those aren't tables that go and play the slots machines. No, no, no. They're ta gambling tables. They're, they're a thing. You can look them up. They're, no, they really, they really are a thing. That's a... Um, I'd, yeah, okay, I'm kind of flogging a dead horse, that one, uh, which will then be turning into dog food. Uh, I know, it's a callback to a joke I made at uh, the end of the, the sports betting episode, which, you know, for you was a couple of days ago. But for me, it was about, you know, two and a half minutes ago before I started. You know, I, I did all these back-to-back. -back. That's why the hair's, you know... That's why I'm still wearing the same jumper. It. I know it's a little bit of spoiling the movie magic for you there, a touch, uh, but uh, but there it is. Anyway, yeah, one more to go, and then I then I think we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll confine this one to the annals of history of uh, of what a good wheeze. Uh, I may revisit. I might, you know, could happen. <laughs> mm.